subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. After being named this morning, Claudette has weakened to a tropical depression as it enters the state of Alabama, currently bringing heavy rainfall and threatening some areas with tornadoes. It is expected to reform off the east coast of the U.S. Currently though, we have it with winds of 35 miles per hour with a pressure of 1,007 millibars and it's moving northeast at 16 miles per hour. We don't have a CDPS rating at this time as it is now inland, although that could change uh, depending on what happens on the east coast transition. We have no wind fields to show, as you'd expect. It has no tropical storm force winds right now, although some gusty winds, maybe up to tropical storm force, could be felt in some of the uh, rain that's outside of the center. Here's the current distances. It is 76 miles from Montgomery, Alabama. That's likely out of date by now. 95 miles from Birmingham, Alabama. 211 miles from Atlanta, Georgia. 436 miles from Charlotte, North Carolina. And 714 miles from Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. We have a tropical storm watch from, uh, in effect, from Cape Fear to Duck, North Carolina, and the Pemlico and Albemarle Sounds in North Carolina. The current intensity estimate spread. The two AMSU and SATCON a tropical storm force, those might be out of date, not updated uh, to its positioning now, so I imagine those would eventually, in the next reading come down to tropical depression but for 13 and national hurricane center we're thinking tropical depression here's the current forecast from courtesy of the national hurricane center and you can see those tropical storm watches in effect along the north carolina coastline it's expected to really zoom in three days we're expecting this to be south of nova scotia as a post-tropical cyclone and this could bring significant impacts uh, to canada uh, so we need even in Canada, you need to watch out for Claudette. Now we've got this slew of National Weather Service graphics. One to three feet of storm surge is expected in the North Carolina Outer Banks. There's the most likely arrival time of um, tropical storm force winds. That goes out only three days. Go to hurricanes.gov if you would like to see five days rainfall. We're talking two to four inches additional onto what has already fallen. And that's fueling this excessive rainfall outlook. I'm moderate on that. Key messages, please pause the video if you would like to read these. There's a Spanish version at hurricanes.gov. And the severe weather for today and tomorrow, we're looking at some severe threats from Claudette. Mainly tornadoes on that. Sea surface temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico is leaving behind generally 28, 29 degrees Celsius waters. Uh, and as it emerges off the North Carolina coastline, it's going to run into that jet stream, which will allow it to strengthen back into a tropical storm force system. And that's, a, that's the current expectation. The HWRF agrees on this. It's, you can see there, it makes this a tropical storm off the east coast. And here's rainfall, widespread heavy rainfall in the U.S. And even some rainfall along the northeast coastline and into Canada. And long term, we could be looking at some in Greenland. The multi-mod diagnostic comparison models are, you can see, weakening it over land. And then it re-strengthens slightly not too strong as uh, what we're looking for here off the east coast. Wind shear is on a decrease. Sea surface temperatures, uh, they'll be rapidly decreasing as it zooms northeast. So really telling us it's not going to be too strong as you'd expect for a northern latitude system this time of year. Here's the current imagery of Tropical Depression Claudette. You can see the center is really void of any thunderstorm activity. It's really east and north lopsided system as it has been really its whole life. This is uh, unfortunately not the end of Claudette. This is only the beginning of impacts for the southeastern U.S. So stay safe and stay tuned to local weather offices for the latest watch and warning information. We'll keep you updated on what Claudette does uh, in its future.